Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Roman Just Codes. I am Roman and in this video series I will show you how I built a custom made home automation system by using Flutter and sending commands to connected smart plugs and devices installed around the house. We will go into the products that I picked, the devices that I picked, their specs, how I set them up, and then we'll go into how I coded a solution in Flutter that I can deploy to multiple devices around the house so that they can serve as hubs for managing the devices that I want to control in any given room, like how to turn them on, turn them off, changing the light intensity, etc. So let's get started. Instead of getting an out-of-the-box solution and just be done with it, you know me a little bit by now. I'm a tinkerer at heart, so I decided I wanted to make my own home automation solution, which I can wow my friends with when they come visit, as well as adding a convenience and a hint of high-tech to my house by controlling the devices around the house in an automated fashion. Oh, and because I'm lazy and I didn't want to get up from the couch to turn things on and off. I want to install a few smart plugs and light bulbs around the house so I can remotely turn them on or off, change the intensity of the light, etc. Doing a bit of research, I narrowed it down to a few requirements. I needed them to be plug and play, no complex installation, creating a bunch of accounts, subscriptions or anything. Wi-Fi enabled, that way I can deploy them behind my existing home network and only use it within the house. Make sure to secure your network or deploy these devices in a separate encrypted secure subnet. They must have an embedded web server, that way I could send them commands to make them react by simply sending them an HTTP request directly to the device, as opposed to me having to roll out my own backend. Sure, for more complex solutions this is the way to go, but for my case I wanted to go simple. No hub required, no proxy device, no middleman, no additional hardware to make this work. Send a command to the smart device, it does something, done. My decision came down to these few devices. I bought a couple of smart plugs from this company called Shelly, and I got a couple of Shelly Plus plugs, the US version, because they are Wi-Fi enabled, they have an embedded web server, and can function as a standalone device, as an accessory to a home automation controller, or it may be used as another automation systems component. With this, I can control any device that plugs into an outlet. Very family friendly. My second decision was about lighting solutions. I also got another Shelly product, the Shelly Duo Smart Light Bulbs. Yeah, you guessed it. They are Wi-Fi operated, has an embedded web server, and connects to your network. And through a simple HTTP request, you can turn it on or off or dim its lights. The other two options were a bit more industrial level. There's this company called ControlByWeb.com, which makes these amazing relays called Web Switch. WebSwitch has two power outlets which can be independently controlled over an IP network either by using a web browser or simply sending them an HTTP command. It is completely self-contained and includes a built-in web server so no external servers or monthly subscriptions are required. Next option was from a company called Digital Loggers and its product called ProSwitch. Very easy to use, easy to set up, super basic web interface with secured Wi-Fi and wired Ethernet. HTTPS, RESTful API, and you can even customize it using the Lua scripting language. With 8 independent controlled outlets, great for commercial, industrial, and residential indoor remote power control. You can get it straight from them or even from eBay. Let's set our devices up. For the Shelly devices, you must have the Shelly app installed on your mobile device, for iOS and Android, and you must be in your Wi-Fi network. You can add them both via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. We'll only focus on the Shelly US plug for now, but you have a wide range of devices you can control and set up through the app. Make sure that your device is plugged into the outlet and is on, that way it can be discovered, which is the simplest way you can add it to your network. You can change its name, add it to a room, and even change the default image. Once connected, you can start controlling it. Go to the device settings tab, then expand the settings option, and under the device information, you can collect the information we need the device's IP, device ID, and channel. This is what we'll use to send a command to it. Once we have the info, let's talk to it using a tool like Postman, through which we can send commands to our plug. The Shelly API docs are very good, very well documented, with an extensive API for you to control your devices. The APIs we'll be using are Shelly.get status, so we can get the status of our plug, Shelly.get device info to get information about the device. Shelly.ListMethods is a useful API to call on your device to check which things can be called on it. 
Oh, and check this out. Other useful information you can get from the device is its temperature to check for overheating and whatnot. We'll be using the HTTP endpoint called Relay. You pass the device channel and the turn query parameter on or off to toggle it. You get a JSON that you can parse further and consume. Let's do the test via Postman. Send an HTTP request to the device's IP plus the name of the endpoint. The Shelly.get status gives you the status of the device in question, which tells you whether it's connected or not. The Shelly.getConfig gives you all the device's configuration. Now let's toggle it. Call the relay endpoint with the device's channel and the turn parameter off to turn it off. You get the response that the device's is on property is false and on my side, I see the device turning off. Pass the on parameter this time to toggle it back on. This is what I'll be doing from Flutter. Just send a command to it and checking whether the response was successful and toggle it accordingly. For the Digital Loggers Pro Switch device, it's pretty much the same thing. I have eight outlets that I can send commands to and I can connect it to my network via a network cable or Wi-Fi. It has a very basic web interface that I can test it with. You can toggle the outlets on or off individually or all at the same time. And you can also test them the same way as the Shelly devices. Hit the IP of the switch plus the outlet's number from 1 to 8 and you'll get the same effect. So now that our devices are hooked up and ready to receive commands, let's build a Flutter app for this, shall we? In the next video, I'll be covering that and more, so I'll see you there. Hey there, I am Roman from Roman Just Codes. I hope that you found the content of this video very useful. And if you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to this channel. You know subscribing to this channel is free, right? Thank you so much for watching.